In my last hair fiber video, I tested out a couple of different salt shaker style products where you essentially sprinkle fibers onto your head to conceal some of your bald spots. Overall, I thought they were okay and I was using them occasionally when filming videos because these lights are pretty harsh to say the least. However, I thought they were a bit messy and you had to tinker with them a bit to get a decent look. In that video, I mentioned that you could get spray applicators for those fibers and I might consider using them in a future video. This is that video. I've been trying one of these out over the last few weeks to see if it's any better than the typical salt shaker ones. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my full thoughts on whether it's worth buying or not. I bought this fiber online as it was really cheap, came with a pump built in and had good reviews on Amazon. Secret hint, I think it might be better than Topic. The idea with these pumps is you basically just screw them onto the top of the typical salt shaker container and you can then use them to deliver blasts of fiber onto the thinning areas, more accurately than using the regular sprinkle tubs. I also purchased one of these guides to make the process a little less messy. I'll link both products in the description of the video. So are they actually any better than just using the normal version? I'd say yes, at least for my hat. The main issues I had with these salt shaker dispensers were that they were messy to use, the powder got everywhere and it didn't look particularly natural, especially when it was used on the front of the hairline. They weren't bad, they were still usable, they were just you know slightly more difficult to use every day than you'd really want. There's a couple of things I like about this spray applicator and one thing that I don't. Firstly, I found this is far less messy than just using the regular sprinkle tub. You generally get a consistent and relatively accurate spray of fiber straight onto the required area. I found a lot less fiber is getting over the top area of my clothes when using it. I also find that the shot of fiber gets slightly deeper into the hair more quickly rather than sitting on the surface, so you don't really need to rub it in. Whereas with the sprinkle ones, I found myself having to rub it in a little bit because it would just sit right on the top. As you might be able to guess as well, this is far faster to use. You can quickly launch the powder onto your scalp and get the job done in record time, rather than prattling about sprinkling it. If this is a product you consider using every day, I think the time saved might add up and be quite important. Especially when used in combination with the hairline guide, I think it looks relatively natural. Sometimes I actually even use the reverse curved edge of this instead. I like how you can really target small thinning sections using the extended nozzle, so you're left with a head of hair that looks quite even all the way across. One thing to note is that the default guide doesn't look natural at all. It looks all staggered and all over the place. So you'll notice I've trimmed these spikes down to around half the original protrusion. This just seems to give a much more accurate shape, whereas before I kind of had a zigzaggy hairline, this is, just looks better. And while it's okay in the hairline, I just find that this is useful for, you know, getting rid of a bit of that mess. So you don't have to wipe it off your forehead nearly as much. And especially in combination with this, it works better than the other stuff. I've tried using this in combination with the pouring versions too. I still find it works best with the spray one. Also, if you get incredibly close to your hair, then use the pump, you might be left with concentrated dots of fiber on your scalp that look weird. I've heard people online referring to this as the fatal flaw almost of this sort of thing. At least in my experience, I found that just backing off by a couple of centimeters pretty much solves this problem anyway. I'd rather have an accurate product than a really messy one. When it comes to the actual fibers themselves, I found these to be pretty similar to the other stuff I reviewed in the previous video. So if you want a more of a review on the performance of the product, I definitely recommend going and watching that one. I found lots of these are the same. This one might actually be slightly better than the topic one, though I definitely need to try it in a slightly lighter color. This one seems to be slightly darker than I'd anticipated. I'd recommend at least trying one of these because they're so cheap anyway, you might as well. If you like the video, consider subscribing for more. I'll see you in the next one. P.S. This video wasn't sponsored by these or Topic or whoever.